Most iPhone users think the new Photos app redesign kind of sucks. And while I personally don't feel it's that bad, I can understand the frustration. Let me show you a few tweaks and changes that you should do to make the Photos app suck less. Now, before iOS 18, we had tabs at the bottom for each section. So this was pretty familiar. You had the library, for you, albums, and search. And while I get that we're all used to that layout for so long, the new redesign is meant to kind of streamline navigation. But that's only really helpful if you've customized it to your liking and if you know where everything's at. So all you gotta do, just scroll down to the bottom until you see the customize and reorder button. And here you'll see a ton of different categories and options that you can either turn on or off or move around to a more convenient spot on the list. So I feel like most of these categories are pretty self-explanatory, but let's quickly go through what we have here. So we have recent days, which are photos over your last few days. And if you tap on recent days, you can actually see your entire library sorted by date if you want to. You have albums and shared albums, which is pretty self-explanatory. People and pets. This is an AI sorted album of friends, family, and pets that you take a lot of photos of. There's also a new group feature that automatically sorts your photos by your common group. So like there's one with my wife and kids, me and my wife, or my entire family. You can also create a manual group if you don't see the one that you want. Memories is where all of your auto-generated slideshows live, as well as the new Apple Intelligence Memory Maker feature. Trips are location-based photo collections. Then you have your pinned collections, which gives you access to your most important albums or collections. And Featured Photos is an AI-curated showcase of your best shots, which is updated pretty regularly. And then the last few are more for narrowing down certain types of photos or videos that you might be looking for. So you have media types, which gives you a list of photos filtered by capture mode. So that includes live photos, portraits, screenshots. This makes it a little bit easier to find those photos that you might not you know, have quick access to. Then utilities are your favorites, hidden and recently deleted as well as duplicated filters. And wallpaper suggestions is one that I actually didn't notice until I started making this video. And apparently this is where your AI selected images for wallpapers are here and they're optimized for your device. So personally, I would just start by unchecking the ones that you don't need and then start dragging and dropping the sections in the order that you wanna see first uh, for the ones that are most important to you. So for me, I'm gonna turn off recent days, I'm gonna turn off pin collections, probably featured photos, and then shared albums because the shared albums are already in the regular albums portion. So that's enough for me. And now I'm gonna start reordering the ones that I want at the top. So let's move albums all the way up at the top because I feel like I access that more. Uh, and then we'll do maybe media types so I can find some of those like screenshots and things quickly. And that sounds good to me, but again, you can kind of change this to however you want and what you think is necessary for how you wanna quickly find the photos and albums and videos that are important to you. So once your categories are all sorted here, let's make a few tweaks to the overall library. And then things should start to feel vastly improved. So if you start scrolling up, you'll see that all of your photos are here in your library. And this is the view that I use like 99% of the time when looking for something or I just use search. So that's probably why I don't really care about all of those category changes. But if you start to scroll, you'll see years, months, and all tabs here at the bottom. Next to that is an up and down arrow icon. Now this is where you can sort and filter different options. Now a few tweaks here should start to make things feel a lot better, like changing the sort by date captured to sort by recently added, which is how I prefer to see the photos in my library. Because if you get a video sent to you that was taken two years ago, you're gonna have to look and know when that was taken. But if it's by date added, it'll just be the first thing that you see. Then you can toggle between your library or your shared library if you're sharing with somebody in your family Family, or you can view both of those libraries at the same time. Now the filter option here will let you filter your photos by favorites, edited, photos, videos, and screenshot. And you'll just see all of one of those categories. But what I think is important here is to go to the view options. And here you can kind of take out screenshots if you have too many in your library and you just wanna see all of your photos that you took. Or you can have it checked to see everything. This is also where you can choose to show shared library batch photos, which is kind of what we talked about earlier, and shared with you photos, which are the photos that are sent in messages and have a little messages icon next to it. You can also change your zoom level, though I just like to kind of pinch in and out. It just makes life a lot easier. 
Now, obviously you can tweak these settings however you want, but hopefully this will make your photos app a bit more tolerable in iOS 18. Don't forget about the search button in the upper right corner here too. Again, I use this all the time and Apple intelligence is making search so much better for finding specific photos or even specific moments in a video. Now I hope this helps. Remember, I didn't make these changes to the photos app, so take it easy, but I do want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Did any of these changes help make the photos app a bit more tolerable or do you still think the change sucks? Let me know down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.